feels like going home for me. I was here a long time, and I'm Irish by descent, both sides of my family, and it was a, uh, a, a big plus to be here to shoot this movie for me. I'm here now, and it's changed a lot. Certainly Dublin has. It's cosmopolitan, and, um, but it's just lovely. The Irish have been so nice to me that I've only been here two days, and I'm like, God, it, it's just been glorious, the warmth, the warmth of, your, of the people. I had worked for a year as a stuntman on a series called Tales of the Vikings. Well, I was actually a stuntman slash stand-in, okay? Be honest with you. As for boxing, I love boxing. I still do, but I wasn't very good. In fact, I thought acting would be easier than boxing, and so I sort of switched over. I, I was in Germany in a school. I was hated it. I was trying to figure out a way to get out. To, I was going to flee, actually. Um, uh, I didn't like Munich. And uh, I had had an interview at a studio for a job, but nothing had happened, nothing had come of it. So I was really planning to escape back to the States. I was 17. And I went to uh, the Bonhoeff. I had a ring. I had this diamond ring, and I, I, had, I knew this girl, and I said, see this, this ring? And she went, oh. I said, no, no, I want you to buy it from me so I can get a ticket uh, to Paris on the... Uh, on the train. So I went to the Bahnhof, I got the ticket, I didn't go to school that day, and uh, when I came home, my mother was standing at the door, O'Callaghan, and uh, small but dangerous. And she was very angry with me. I said, why, she, she didn't go to school. I said, yeah, I did. She said, no, you didn't, I called. I said, why would you call the school? What, what, why would you do that? She said, because they called from Geisel Gosteig Studios, you got a job there. What? Yeah. I said. Doing what? She said, you're a leaf double. I said, what's that? She said, it's a stand-in. A stand-in. I said, what's that? And so she explained it to me, and I you say you start in the morning. And that was my beginning. I'm proud of it all. I'm a lucky man. But uh, in television, we would shoot 10 pages a day on average, 10 pages a day. In a movie, you would, it would take you two weeks to shoot 10 pages. So you did get more time and more thought went into it. But I came from a fast, uh, fast track, you know. Television, uh, when you say, how do you want it? They say Thursday. So um, you adjust to whatever. I'm back in television now with Bones. Or, and they take more time now than they did in our day. Yeah, it takes about eight or nine days to do one, one episode. Come on, we would do them in five. I met Cary Grant many years ago in, in Cannes, and I was about to start What's Up, Doc? And I said, Cary, is there anything you can tell me, any advice you can give me for this story? And he said, yes, I can. Have a good tan. What? Yeah, just have a good tan, because that way you don't have to go to makeup, and so you can sleep a little longer. You don't have to go in so early. Also, take Fountain. I said, Fountain the street? He said, yeah, it's quicker to the studio than Sunset. So that was the advice that I got. Will you learn, when you're acting, you watch the others, the old pros. You watch them, and it, it, it leaks out, and you get, to, you get it by osmosis. That's how I did it.